Welcome, welcome, guys. We are going old school with it. We're just going to do the best combo and call it. I want to play games and save it for a whole different video. So here we go, guys. This is the best Yorno combo. Now, remember that this is just fun, big combos. It's not necessarily the right thing to do in every situation, right? It's not the most optimal thing to do. But for fun, this is what the biggest combo is going to look like without doing some cheeky resets and some other stuff. So... Two heavies into just a full-on Muda. Three bars. You are going to need a lot of bar for this, but most combos take up three bars anyway. So do your three-bar Muda after the two heavies. Call in Goku in ult. You're going to have to delay the ultimate. If you press it too soon, you're going to dash after him. Hold your assist button down during this cutscene. Goku will kind of after. You're going to dash after and do two heavies into Muda. Now, I'm pretty sure they cannot escape, but even if they do, you just super cancel. They wasted their stamina, and it's even scarier for them because now they have no stamina. They can't escape anything. You do in any of your mix-ups, and they are low health. So that is the max amount of damage I believe you can actually get without any cheeky resets or stuff. And it's only technically, it's technically five bars, but... To be honest, you don't really need to do the Muda's at the end. I would actually recommend doing three heavies. Um, so I, I like to do three heavies. Vanish and dash, and then it's like a restand if he's holding buttons, and if he's not, he gets up pretty slowly. You just go from there. You have two bars you can work with. So that is what I recommend doing. Big damage, 75, 80%. Now let me show you with the cheeky reset, and I actually like it. It's really cool. Real fast, guys, just to show you what I mean, if you don't want to spend the two bars, just do something like this. And if they're not pressing buttons, they stand up like that. You can fully charge light, go in the air, get your stand or meter back. You can heal, anything like that. So that's what I mean. And remember uh, that this uh, right here, if they are not pressing buttons, they're going to act like that. If they are pressing buttons, and all you need to do if you need to test this in um, training is just uh, get them to guard once, and then the CPU will uh, pretend like it's guarding every single time. They get up right away, right? And then you can do whatever. You can down tilt, up tilt, whatever you need. So just, just to clarify so you get a better uh, visual on what that is. All right, guys. So let me show you the uh, cheeky little reset here. It actually involves doing five lights and a down tilt. And as you see, they restand. So this is actually really interesting. It happens everywhere, no matter what. You down tilt right there, they restand. So now we have a couple options with this reset. Now I'm going to give you guys some options. You guys can choose what you want to do. You can delay it a bit. I tend to move forward, and as soon as I see myself move forward, I grab. If you grab too early, it's going to whiff. So that's why I just hold forward and wait to see myself move. You can also move forward in Muda. If they try and sidestep, this will catch them. And in worst case scenario, you have super armor. So if they actually try and hit you with a light or anything like that, they'll just go through. Muda will just... Keep going. The only thing that they, if they do, if they spam a counter or something like Goku's counter, it will work, but that's gonna be very rare, very situational. Um, the other option is to just jump heavy. We'll also ca uh, catch uh, down tilts, or down tilts. We'll also catch uh, side steps. Uh, if they back step, I'm giving you a lot here. If they back step, you can jump and just do lights, right? We're just trying to create pressure. We're not trying to kill fully, but I will show you guys what the full kill uh, will look like and I'll show you it here now. All right guys So this is gonna be the full 100% combo with an average health team Remember if they're a full tank team I don't think it would kill all the way plus they do have a chance to escape this so it's not exactly a full 100% combo nothing ever is um, They have chances to escape but most of the time People at least high-level people will not escape because they're like oh scaling's gonna hit We're not gonna move because it's not gonna do anything. You're gonna do five lights right here down tilt and just do two heavies into Muda. If they escape after this, you can just chase them, waste stamina. But that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna switch to your Goku. Heavy, three lights, Kamehameha. If they choose to escape, then you just chase after the Kamehameha and win, right? It's a really scuffed 100% combo, but it's still 100% combo. If they have red meter, they could escape at any point during your lights. Um, depending on if an assist hits, they gotta wait. Uh, couple lights like two or three but that is the 100 percent combo right there i did forget to mention um during this reset um if if you're like well what if they just guard right what if they guard well mood is safe so you could just guard right after um if you're too scared to do the reset i don't know why you would be but if you're too scared uh you can down tilt right into muda it works it connects you can do that also it's another option 
All right, guys, I'll show you all the variations of this combo anytime you can do this three Muda thing or whatever. Of course, if you grab, move up a little, call on Goku, ult, this will connect as well. Um, very simple, right? You just got to practice the timing a bit. Uh, I should note that good players will be able to vanish the Kamehameha, I'm assuming, because most of the time you can do that with Piccolo as well as Goku. And of course, dash up. Do whatever you want. You can go back into three Muda. Um, I would kind of suggest this because you can't do much after this grab. I would just go into the air, get your bar back, and if they vanish and try and get you in a vanish battle, uh, they reset their damage and then you get some extra damage while still getting some bar. So that's just a plus. Um, I should note that this grab does work 90% of the time. This is a random fact. I'm just stating that to sound smarter. Um, everywhere on the map. So if I grab right here, it should work. Um, how you know it's gonna work is if, see right here, if the ultimate is hitting them back towards where you grab from, Goku will connect. I've had it happen to where it didn't hit them back, um, and it misses. Now, the funny part about the grabs on the outside is I mess up there, is they actually fall back into your Muda. So if I can do this properly, um, you can just sit there, not move, and just press Muda and they'll just drop into it. I think it's hilarious. It's the most BM thing you could probably do with this character other than spamming the heal. But let's see if I can do this. Oh, right there. So as you saw, it didn't work. I don't know why it's very random, but let me see if I can get him to fall in my Muda. All right, with this angle, he should fall into it right away. <laughs> it just feels so BM, right? And then you just go into the air again. Oh, I love it, man. It's so good. And that's with a raw ult, if you're not realizing. That's 50% with a raw ult and, of course, three bars. Um, now, I don't suggest doing the grab ult because, like I said, it, I, it is a pretty good chance that it will fail uh, for Goku to catch him anyway. So you won't be able to do a follow-up. You'll still get the grab ult damage. Um, so I don't suggest doing that. Plus, you get hate messages because people hate grab ults. Um, but that is another option you can do to land those bigger combos. I'm showing you guys real fast what the awakening damage is. I think we've seen the ultimate two times, uh, too many times. I'm sorry that you have to sit through it. Uh, but this is what the awakening damage looks like. Uh, it's just a little bit more than 50%. It's like 65, 70. Uh, you go into the air. And if they vanish, of course, you can reset the damage. You'll get more. So that's awakened with that grab ult. Um, still pretty good damage. Now, of course, I do have to always show these off, guys, for those of you that uh, liked R3. Um, I, dude, I love the jokes you guys all made. We were like, we saw Giorno R3 in the trailer. I'm like, oh, we got R3 now. <laughs> uh, but this is what the damage is. I think we did it in the, oh. It almost dropped there for some reason. Maybe it's not as consistent as I thought, but we still managed to pick it up. We'll call Goku here. And I've actually gotten a reset here by doing a light. He resets right there. Uh, and of course, you could probably block and react to it. But this is the damage you get from just an R3. Spamming those Mudas. Not the greatest, but still pretty good. Um, if we want to go into the fancier R3 stuff, you know, you could one heavy R3, get a grab mix going. And because it's an R3, they can escape this grab. We do this. And it's all, it's all the same, right? So not the fanciest best combo but i think he's gonna be a lot of fun playstyle wise right try always trying to get those healings out always trying to just i don't know with the mix-ups with the down tilt i think that's gonna be the best um but this actually does more damage with, with the r3 grab okay let's see if we can get the reset Ooh, didn't get the restand god the triple muda is just so freaking how many times did we do it twice Man, yeah, and we like, oh my gosh, uh, stupid damage. But there you go. Those are like the four main big damage, right? Um, of course, you can do lights. You know, you can do your five lights into the triple muda and then to ult into whatever. Um, however, be wary of this. If you do go for the um, reset after this if i try and five lights right here i'm fairly sure you white out and i'm just saying this because i actually haven't tested my first time testing this so welcome to this live uncut footage of me testing this let's see if he whites out whites out after the down tilt so i'm right right so you could just go into the air with that last light um or finish that light combo off and go into the air but 
I wouldn't recommend doing uh, a bunch of lights. I'd recommend uh, doing one into two heavies and then everything uh, will work. All right, guys, last few tips I'm gonna give you right here. If you actually delay your second light after running up here, you can get another uh, restand yourself like that. And you can still go for the uh, restand here um, and do whatever you wanna do. But there, there's that second restand that you could actually get some good clean damage off. So you don't have to do this Goku switch. You could also just call him as an assist. I forgot to do it because I, I was too busy talking. Um, but there's that. Um, another thing, I don't think I gave you the example what to do after the um, this right here. I would heavy and down tilt. This is just in case, I haven't been able to test it. I need to go online and servers are down. Um, this is just in case they, after the down tilt, they sidestep the heavy. The down tilt is faster than doing two heavies. Preferably I would do the two heavies, but if they are kind of jumping and they sidestep, which a lot of people are, I do one heavy uh, down tilt into the Muda right away. And if they escape right after the Muda, you just chase them, they waste their stamina, we go into mixes. So guys, that is the best combo in my opinion. Big damage, fun damage, just fun Muda. He really only has one damaging ability. The tree is there for defense. That That is my personal opinion so far. We'll see what happens when more people get to play him, but that is that is my opinion. Last thing, I promise. If you are playing against a Giorno that does this, make sure to hold guard because this will happen. So, and be aware for those of you that are not playing, or you are Giorno and you're doing this reset, if they hold guard, this is what it's gonna look like if you go for a wall reset or something. Okay, well, they're gonna hold guard right here. And they're gonna be able to guard, right? So at this point, you just go into mixes, whatever you want to do. Uh, infinite is down tilt, then half charge the up tilt. Um, you know, go into whatever. I still need to work on mixes. I still need to figure out. You can always Muda catch a side step. Probably won't catch the back step, but we'll always see. So guys, that is that. Thank you so much for watching. Um, it felt more like a guide a little bit. I'm sorry for talking so much, but that is the best combo. And I hope you guys do appreciate those little tips and tricks. Uh, remember, full in-depth guide will come later. Uh, I guess I'll give you a little bit more. I'm sorry for ranting. The tree blocks physical attacks. So stuff like Red Hawk, it can block stuff like uh, Trunks' Shining Sword when he jumps at you. He'll just hit the tree and bounce off. It's hilarious. Um, uh, Togro's Stronger ability, the one where he goes up in the air, also blocks it. Does not block Invincible. It's so annoying. Togro literally just snatches you from this freaking tree and goes into the ability. So uh, Luffy's Gatling gets blocked. I need to test a lot of stuff, but so far, mostly physical attacks are blocked by the tree. Stuff like Kamehameha, the tree won't block. Um, the Dragon Ball characters, their rush attacks, uh, Meteor Combination and Spirit Breaker, Goku's Triangle, uh, Vegeta's Triangle, they just go around the tree. It already curves in general, so stuff like that still goes through. But yeah, guys, uh, I, I, I will apologize. I, I keep... I'm sorry. I'm sorry for talking so much. I just, I'm happy. I'm excited, man. I'm excited to make stuff for you guys. Um, and there's a lot of stuff I need to test for Giorno, but as far as I know, that's the best combo, guys. Have fun. If you find a better one or a better reset, please tell me. It'd be great for the guide. I definitely will give you credit as well. Um, as long as you let me know it was from you, please don't lie. Uh, and yeah, guys, have a great uh, Thursday night. It's probably Friday already. I don't know, but hey, have a good one. I'll see you guys later. Bye.